Get the biggest Chanel back in the store if you want it. I gave them the drill, they set it up, I got them on it. I bought a new paddock, I had to watch all two tone. I'm taking these drugs, I'm gonna be up until the morning. Alright, what's up YouTube? Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. As you can see from the title of this video, we're doing weird food combinations that people love. And I feel like this is going to be interesting because people in this world like to eat weird things on their food and with their food. And in my opinion, I'm a very picky eater. I don't really like to eat new things or try new things or put, <clears throat> excuse me, or put new things on my food. So this should be interesting. Yeah, I'm not really picky, but the, some of the stuff that we got today I might not like, so... Right. You see, it is what it is. But before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you guys can get notified every time we drop a brand new video. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Princess Deja Lise and at Jensen Santo. And let's get into this video. Let's go. Okay, so the first weird food combination that we have is pickles and takis. And let me tell you something about this. I already ate this before. Like, I already tried this before, and I actually love it. So I hate it. I hate it. I didn't food. know, like, people already had a weird food combination. I don't really think, like, I wouldn't think this would be a weird food combination, but I guess. And I'm excited to try it because it's good, so. And we got bags, just in case. Oh, yeah, we have bags just in case we don't like those. it, and we get to spit it out. You know, you know the deal. So, let's try it, I guess. I hate pickles, man. What is that? I mean, this is spicy. Mm. I hate pickles. Bruh, mm -hmm. you didn't even try to taste it. You, I, you, I ate some of the pickles. You literally put it some. in your mouth and then spit it out. Bro, I bit it. Look. I got a big piece. And I, I bit both of them. I hate no, pickles, though. It's not that serious. What do you rate this? Zero out of ten. <laughs> I rate this a twenty hundred thousand out of ten. What, bro? What are you talking about, man? I rate this a ten out of ten because this is the favorite. Like my pickles is my favorite. I don't really like takis like that, but I feel like the heat with the pickle is just like fire. Okay, so the second thing that we have is popcorn and ketchup. I don't know who thought of this. I mean, I don't think it's going to be that bad. Because it kind of mm. smells like eggs and ketchup, yeah, I don't think to, be honest. Bad, to be honest. Okay, so let's do it. I don't know who does this. Who puts ketchup in the popcorn? Like... Mm. Mm. It's not bad, but... I actually never tasted this before. Ever. I feel like the ketchup overpowers the popcorn. You could, you, all you taste is ketchup. You really can't taste mm, the popcorn. Not really. It's kind of good. Yeah, it's not that bad. It's kind of good. I wouldn't eat it though. Yeah, I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> like if I was at the movies and like they had an option to like drizzle ketchup on your popcorn, I wouldn't do it. Okay, just stick to butter. <laughs> but like if I was eating something on my plate and somebody passed me popcorn on my plate and it like mixed in with my ketchup, then I would eat it. But like. What do you rate it? Mm, like, like let me let me rephrase that. Maybe if I was at home and I wanted to like eat this again, I would. But like, I wouldn't eat this again. If that makes sense. Yeah. So I would get this like an eight out of ten. This is not bad. Like I could eat this. Eight out of ten. Mm. Like if I wanted to, I would like finish my plate. To be honest, for me, six point five. Wow. So that I really don't like the ketchup. Like, like I said, the ketchup over. But like, what if what if you get a little bit of piece of popcorn with a little bit of ketchup? Does it taste good to you? Mm, no. Six out of ten. Fair enough. Okay, so this is the third food combination. I can't tip it because it's gonna spill. But it's basically hot Cheetos and milk. Mm. And honestly. Yeah. Who thought about this? Like, who thought about putting milk and Cheetos? Like. I don't even want to do this because it's mixing in with the milk. The milk is turning red. The milk is turning red. Mm. I'm going to show you guys how this looks like right now. Like, look at it. Oh, my God. It's mixing with the milk. Mm. It's turning pink. Ew. Oh, my God. Okay, so. Are you getting your bag ready? Yeah, I'm getting the bag ready just in case. Because I know I'm not going to like this. I'm actually really scared because my milk is pink. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Right. Okay. Ready? Getting only Same more. time? 
Yeah. One, two, three. What is that? Okay, so the aftertaste mm -hmm. is like hot Cheeto. Like, it's okay, but. Yeah, it's the milk. Oh my god, ew, the texture. Yeah, the milk is disgusting. I don't know. Like I said, who thought about this? Like, literally, my milk is pink. 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 It's disgusting. What do you rate this? I rate this a 0 out of 10. Negative 0 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, negative 0 out of 10, too. Super mm -mm. disgusting. <laughs> okay, guys, so our fourth weird food combination is strawberries and mayonnaise. I'm so scared to try this. Like, I'm so scared. Again, this is disgusting. Again, who thinks about stuff like this? Like, who eats this kind of stuff? I'm really, really, really scared to eat this. Like I said, I have my bag next to me. But I will definitely be throwing this up. Not throwing mm -hmm. it up, but spitting it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so... I, I smell the strawberry right now. That's what's messing me up. Like, I, dead, I just smell the strawberry. I'll just do it. Ready? No. One. Two, three. No way. What do you rate this? I feel like people are just setting us up, to be honest. Like, they don't even like this. Like, they must just be setting us up. They're bored or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll give it a zero out of ten. Negative zero out of ten, once zero again. 10. Negative, negative. All right, guys, so we have Oreos and orange juice here again. I don't know who possessed somebody who thought, hey, people be eating snacks with their own drinks that they like, but. There's the orange juice, like. Mm. Ready? Mm. No, I'm not ready. This might not be that bad. It's like mm. the orangey taste. It's sour. Ew, you like it? Mm. Let me try it again. Mm. <laughs> There's no way he had to take two bites to know that was nasty. That wasn't bad at first, but. Mm -mm. What do you rate it? Mm. To be honest, mm, five out of ten. I rate this like. Oh, I'm not gonna say zero because like I said, I'm picky like I'm really picky But some of these things haven't been that bad, but like I said, I'm picky. So I give it One out of ten. I'll be nice one just because 10. I like orange juice and I like Oreos, but I didn't like it together A One out of ten five out of ten. Yeah, okay guys. So now we have salami and grapes I don't think it's gonna be that bad. Honestly. Hold on. I want to try one grape by itself. It's not gonna be that bad. Honestly, it probably won't be that bad because cheese platters, like they have salami, they have fruits and stuff. So that's probably where somebody got it from, but I never tried to eat it together. So what do you do? To, you just wrap the grape in the salami, eat it like that. Not the whole thing, like I'm gonna take a bite. Wrap it around? Yeah, but you could take like a bite. Don't mind my nails, guys. I'm chipping it off for a new set, but anyways. Ready? Like, I rate this a zero out of ten. Oh, yeah, me too. Zero out of ten. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It's just the juice from the grape doesn't mix with the with the salami, like the juice from the salami. If that makes sense, don't like eating recommend it. Together, it. Eating it together is disgusting, but like by itself, it's not that bad. Mm. So yeah, zero out of ten. Okay, guys, so we have, now we have Frosted Flakes and Cheese. But let me show you how it looks. Ew. Disgusting. I don't know who eats this, who possesses them to eat this. I don't even like Frosted Flakes. Yeah, this is disgusting, bro. So with cheese, let's see how it is. Are you ready? Are you ready? No. You go first. Wait a 
second. <laughs> Wait, what? Mm. You really can't taste the cheese, to be honest. Mm, a little bit, but not, it's not it's not that strong. It's just a texture, like I <laughs> feel it. I feel it, but mm. yeah, mm. it's not that bad. <clears throat> the texture of the cheese is disgusting. But to be honest, it's not that bad. Obviously without it, it's good. So what do you rate this? Honestly, a uh, six out of ten. I'll give it like a, a six out of ten too, like a six point five out of ten. Without the cheese, ten out of ten, obviously. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not that bad. It's actually good. And like with the cheese, like it tastes like I don't know how to explain it, but I wouldn't eat it though. Yeah, I wouldn't eat it again. I would not eat this. Okay, so now we have Pepsi and cereal. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's basically like Frosted Flakes and cheese, but instead of Frosted Flakes, it's Captain Crunch and Pepsi. I don't know who thought about putting this together once again. I don't think it's gonna be that bad though. People in this world have problems because I would never eat this. But anyway. Ew, it smells weird. It smells weird. It's literally like sizzling. Ew. I'll just go for it. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, what? Are you kidding me, bro? <laughs> oh my god, I'm not even joking. That that tastes like throw up. But who thinks about eating this? Like. I just don't understand, bro. I don't understand. Like, Ew. How do you, what do you rate it? Negative zero out of ten. Mm -mm. Zero out of ten too, bro. It's just disgusting. Like, I just don't know what possesses them to put this together. Me either, but zero out of ten. Yeah, negative zero out of ten for me. All right, so the last one that we have is ramen noodles and barbecue sauce. We have hickory brown sugar barbecue sauce. This is like the best barbecue sauce in my eyes, so. But when noodles? Mm. Mm, I mean, I don't think it, it might be that bad. But would I eat this? No. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not gonna put too much. This is how it looks. Right. Ramen noodles and barbecue sauce. I'm gonna mix it a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna mix it too. Mm, all I smell is barbecue. Okay. I don't like barbecue like that either, bro. Me either. This is on chicken or ribs. Mmm. Yeah, on ribs, yeah, but on noodles, like, come on. Okay, you ready? Is you ready or what? Um, you going right in? No. Why am I on you? Ready? One, two, three. Disgusting. It's not good, but it's not bad. Like mm. all I taste is mm -hmm. boom. See straight barbecue, bro. Yeah. Like, no noodles. Yeah. All I taste is straight barbecue. Baby, look at your noodles. That's all barbecue sauce. No wonder it tastes like straight barbecue sauce. So what do you rate it? Um, three out of ten. I rate this a zero out of ten. Mm, three out of ten. Disgusting. I mean, it wasn't that bad, but it's disgusting. Like all I tasted was barbecue, and yeah, I feel like you it just doesn't go with the barbecue. noodles. In my opinion, it don't go with the noodles at all. So three out of ten. Okay, guys, so this is the end of this video. If you guys want to see a part two, make sure you comment down below weird food combinations that you guys like or that you guys didn't see in this video. Or any ideas you might, you guys might have. Let us know in the comments. If you guys want to see more videos of us, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Princess Dejalise and at Jensen Santos. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Peace.